This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance or training purposes. That's, that's everybody's there. So that 59.5, what you see is it's really 51.5. But then for every mile you get, we give you a safety bonus, which is another eight cents. So it takes it to 59.5. Then you've got stop pays, drop and hook pays, fuel pays, all these other pays, okay, that get you up to that six. Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call Channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at Get Go. In Millbury, Ohio, if you guys from the Millbury area, get go will get you paid for all job tasks at hand. You will get all miles, including empty. You will get paid for fueling, safe miles, breakdown, dropping hooks, detention, DOT inspections, and more. You can earn up to 64 cent per mile on average with annual increases and bonus. You can count on your paycheck being deposited into your bank every Friday and calls into the office for any questions that you may have for the company. Transparency and honesty when it comes to your paycheck that you work hard to earn. Get Go also offers home every weekend and major holidays, all miles paid, empty and loaded, miles calculated with PC, practical miles, mileage starting at starting at or up to 65 cent per mile loaded. Hazmat is a little bit more. Consistent weekly miles with the average of 2,500 miles or more. Clean inspection bonuses, dependable, well-maintained equipment, and two days paid orientation, hotel, transportation, and food expenses are covered. Their hiring criteria is as follows, 18 to 24 months verifiable Class A tractor trailer experience, must be 23 years of age. You must have a driving, proven driving record and tanker and hazmat endorsement. If you don't have it, you have to be willing to get it. Get go out of Millbury, Ohio. If you're interested in get go, stay tuned. Do you guys accept SAP drivers, and do you help them with the step sits of the return to duty process? Yeah, as long as it's been at least three years old, and there's been no other um, issues, they're done with testing. Everything's done. They've got the return to work uh, letter. Then we would we would consider that. How much experience do you guys require? At least two years on a current CDLA. Do I need my uh, hazmat or anything like that? Not coming on, but we do ask that everybody gets it within 30 to 45 days. And uh, the hazmat that we do is not the explosive stuff in a tanker. Uh, it's the 25-gallon totes and drums, uh, like sealers, paints, thinners, solvents, stuff like that. So it really comes down to load uh, securement in the dry van. Pre-employment drug screening, hair follicles, urine, or both? Just uh, urine. Okay. Other than uh, the type of lanes that you that I saw that you guys run, I see you guys run uh, regional and everything, but do you guys run Canada? We do not. All right. Now, I'm kind of confused on the mileage pay. Is On the Instagram, it says $0.65, cent, but on your website, it says .595. So, those are all screwed up. Don't even pay attention to those. So... The, I can tell you what the the fleet averaged for the year. The entire fleet averaged sixty eight cents a mile, or just about fourteen to nineteen hundred dollars gross a week last year for the whole for the whole year. Would that be pertaining to an experience, or would that be coming in? That's that's everybody's there. So that fifty nine five, what you see is it's really fifty one five. 
but then for every mile you get, we give you a safety bonus, which is another eight cents. So it takes it to 59.5. Then you've got stop pays, drop and hook pays, fuel pays, all these other pays, okay, that get you up to that 68 cents. Now you get your hazmat, you're going to be probably around 73, 74 cents a mile. Okay. I, I, I understand. Thank you very much for clarifying that. Yep. How's the miles calculated? Is it calculated zip to zip or is it practical? Uh, practical. All right. Is the dispatch forced? Well, it is a company position, so we very highly suggest that you take everything we throw your way. How's that? Do you guys do anything in the Northeast? How's that? No. If we send you up there, then start looking for another job because you pissed somebody off. I'm not a fan of the Northeast, so I'm definitely not. Nobody is, somebody man. Else. Are you kidding me? <laughs> shit, man. Even the people who live there aren't fans of it. God. <laughs> They're like, shit, I wish I lived in Toledo, Ohio, man. I'm of this shit. Nobody wants to come here. There no you kidding. go. Uh, and speaking of Toledo, Ohio, I am from Ohio. So how's how would my home time be for me if if I be home if, every weekend? Every weekend. Oh, okay. Now listen, would that be for my two days off or just for my thirty-four hour reset? First of all, you can do your thirty-four wherever you want. We don't care if you want to. Okay. And most guys get home for a full two days on the weekend. Now, it being transportation, it's not perfect, obviously. Some things, you know, things pop up here and there, you know, like, you know, you have a breakdown or somebody's late doing this or traffic or whatever. But most guys get home for two full days on the weekends. All right. You the, you, you, you the man. I'm going to hold you to that. I'm going to hold you to that. I wouldn't say it if it wasn't true, man. We don't lie here, brother. All right. I got you. All right. Because you're going to find out anyway, right? Right. Um, I've seen in the video with the young lady, uh, are those Cascadias or what, what equipment that we'll be driving and what are they governing that? Freeliner Cascadias. Oh, okay. And where are, <laughs> what are they governing that? Uh, 71. Oh, okay. Okay. Do they have cameras in the trucks? Outward facing. All right. And when do the benefits start? Within 30 days. Pet and rider policy and how young can I bring my... Rider? Rider has to be at least 21, no felonies, and we have to have a state-issued photo ID. Okay, okay. Uh, do you guys have team opportunities? We do not. There's no reason. The way we run, there's this, there's no reason to have teams. All right. And I guess my last question, and I, I do appreciate the time, uh, do you guys have a sign-on bonus? We, you know what? That's a good question. We were actually throwing that around the other day, and we never came to a conclusion so that's a still a work in progress right now. Well, maybe uh, may, maybe down the line. If we're, 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 we should, it's one of, one of the things we were working on at the end of 2023, and it just kind of, you know, time got away from us. All right, that'll work. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I definitely saved the, uh, the video and the information from Instagram, so uh, I could just l click on the link in Instagram to, to go over to the application process, right? Should be able to, yeah. All right, cool, awesome. Well, thank you very much for your time, and I really do appreciate the information. You got it. Thanks, Lester. Thank you. And there you have it, everybody. Get Go out of Millbury, Ohio. What do you guys think of that call right there? Unfortunately, again, SAP Drivers, this is one of the companies that does not help with the return to duty status you will have to already be completed with the status and be three years clean with the program in order for get go to consider you as an applicant they are located out of millberry ohio so if you are in the ohio area you can definitely get home every week as he said, you can do your 34 just about any and everywhere that you want. But when you're at home, they're going to try and give you two days. As far as the Northeast, he already said, if you up at the Northeast, you piss somebody off. So you might not want to do that. Get go out of Millberry, oh, not Berry, Burry, Berry. I can't pronounce it. Millbury, Millbury. That's M I L L B U R Y. Millbury, Ohio. 
So if you guys are again in the Millbury area or in the Ohio area and want to consider a new start for the year, GetGo might be the company for you. Drivers, if you drive for GetGo, let us know of your experience with the company. Is it a good experience, bad experience? Let us know in the comments below. If you would like to share your experience with Get Go on the podcast, you can do that by hitting us up in the Gmail. That's Lockout Men Podcast Guests at gmail.com. Also, drivers, if you'd like to get your suggestions in for the next MTC review, you can do that by the Gmail. That's Lockout Men Podcast Guests at gmail.com. Leave your suggestions in the comment session. Or if you like to support the cause, which is very much welcome, you can do that by the Cash App, dollar sign, Lockout Men. And leave who would you like for us to talk to on the Nets MTC and receive a shout out. Until next time, everybody. Who's next? next.